This is Alan with Center Consoles Only, and welcome to the first official episode of CCO Customs. For our first project, we have a 1973 Seacraft Potter built hull. We are going to do a full reconstruction of this boat from inside out. For this first project, we're teaming up with Josh at Stoner Boatworks and he's going to walk us through real quick how we're going to start and how we're going to get things done through the process. So if you can, go ahead and take us through, Josh. So we're going to be breaking down this 22 Seacraft. We're going to strip this thing down to a bare hole. We're going to be removing any pieces that are in the way for us to recondition. We're going to be taking off the leaning post, the T-top, the console, all these rod holders. We're going to strip the rub rail off. We're going to be removing these paint stripes. Basically strip it down to a bare hole so we can assess what the next thing uh, moving forward with this project is. Okay, so here on the transom we got significant cracking happening here with some delamination on both sides. This is probably from where they closed the transom in because this originally was a cut down transom. This type of work here we can see that in the inside there the wood that's in there is rotted. So we're basically going to be removing this whole top section on both sides and we're gonna strip all the rotten wood and replace it with a Divinacel foam that will be a lifelong, non-corrosive product. And then we're gonna be laying fiberglass on top of that um, before we go back into fair and finish. Well, Josh, we're walking through here and automatically you see how soft this entire deck is. What's the game plan here? So basically we're going to be removing anything that's rotten in the floor and we're going to start by removing the gas tank cavity to check the stringers um, before we make a game plan. But basically this whole back section looks like it had previous work done Oof. and the person who did the work replaced it with wood again. So the wood is now rotting again and we can see here with all these spider cracks coming up through the floor that obviously this floor here needs to go and we need to replace it with the Vinicel as well, um, similar to what we did here in the back. The Divinacel here on the floor is going to be a little bit thicker. We're probably going to use about a one inch thick piece of Divinacel. And those are going to come in four by eight sheets. So we're going to end up making a template for this whole floor. So we're probably going to eliminate, I believe Vaughn wanted to take away these uh, pinstripes that were, is that an original thing from Seacraft? Or? Yeah, this is originally the, the non-skid pattern from Seacraft. They had these shine lines going all the way down, um, kind of look like teak strips. We're actually going to be Removing all of that and making a smooth flat deck that has um, you know the shine lines around the outside and the whole deck will be a smooth non skid finish uh, with an all grip product. One big change you're going to see on this boat is Vaughn is a pretty tall guy. He wanted a bigger console, something a little taller uh, that can provide more electronics for him, more storage underneath. So this entire console is going to come out with that section up front and also he's going to get a brand new leaning post with a live well integrated in the back. So he has uh, what is it, a 60 gallon? 60 gallon fiberglass leaning post. It's got a fully circled live well on the inside of it with a retaining gutter so that you know the water is not spilling over on your back as you're running. Um, that piece we're gonna plumb in, it's probably gonna be moved back just a hair because this whole thing is pushed forward for the width of this console. The new console that we're gonna be putting in, he wants to flush mount his screens like Alan was saying. So we're gonna have a much taller console, maybe about two and a half feet, two feet taller. Um, also, this console here is much wider than what the new console we're going to be using. It's probably going to be eight inches more narrow, and we're going to try and customize it to fit Vaughn's specific needs. We're going to try to modernize what is a classic hull to get a few of those amenities that you get on, on some of the new, newer center consoles. 
Uh, we're gonna see what we can do with the piping. If the thickness of the new, newer console doesn't really work with it, we might have to do this new as well, but we'll work with that as things go along. So those are things you're gonna be able to experience with us. So uh, let's keep moving along to the bow. So as you can see here, all these hatches where the hinges are connected, everything's spider cracking. Um, these are old hatches that are reinforced with wood. So we're gonna be gutting these hatches after we remove them from the bottom side. We're gonna be cutting all this wood out of here to replace this as well with the Venicel. You can see the mold and everything coming out of this porous gel coat. Um, the receiver all the way around. All of these hatches on the boat are completely spider cracked and basically need to be stripped down to bare fiberglass. And then we're gonna come back with a high build epoxy primer and then we're gonna be finishing it off with a 545 epoxy primer um, before we go into top coat. We're gonna be all gripping this entire boat inside and out and none of the gel coat that's on here will be existing when we're done. Uh, you can see here in this front hatch as well, we got the same type of thing happening. We got major spider cracks happening here, which every time someone walks on the hatch, is just pressing it more and more and this situation is just gonna get worse. So we need to grind this down to get under all these cracks and then repair it with a strong 1708 uh, fiberglass material that will structurally hold this a lot stronger. It's got a biaxial woven on it. Um, so hopefully this stuff here won't be happening anymore for bonds in the boat. Now that we've walked you through the 23C craft and you have an idea of what we're working with, we're going to start getting to work, so enjoy. start by going to the bow of the boat and removing that grab rail. Then we work our way back, taking all the rod holders off, taking all the hatches off, apart, and pretty much removing anything loose that we can separate off the boat since the intention is to remove the cap, the liner, and the entire floor of the boat. the console now and this takes quite a bit of work because we have to disconnect everything from the batteries to make sure it's a safe situation to work in. From there we take everything out individually, throttle, steering wheel, anything that needs to disconnect so we can lift the console up in one full piece. Once we took the console out, we do our inspection and see what condition the deck is in. We knew that there were some soft spots above the fuel tanks, but we didn't know how bad it was. Once we got to this point, we saw that it was completely rotten, and we made the decision to go ahead and remove the entire deck and start from scratch. That way we can get that rotten wood out and uh, start with a clean canvas.
As you can see here, the deck was surprisingly easy to remove, even though we had to create some wedges and pry it out. The deck should be on quite a bit harder than this. It was just a little 5200, and that was basically it. The intention from the beginning was to remove this old fuel tank and leave Vaughn with a brand new fuel tank, going from about 100 gallons down to 80, and this way we can put a 20 gallon uh, freshwater tank in, in the front of that for him. As you can see, this boat already has an Armstrong bracket on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove it so we can sand it down and repaint or powder coat it to match the boat. At this point, you see we're taking off the rub rail and we're disconnecting the cap from the hull. The entire cap is rotted. Underneath, there's wood that's falling apart, just crumbling. So we're gonna go ahead and take all of that off by flipping the cap upside down, place it all with the Venisil foam, and we're gonna glass all that in. That way you have a nice, strong cap, free of rot, and basically a brand new piece. Hope you guys enjoyed episode one, which was a stripped down phase of our 23C craft. Episode two, we start to rebuild, so stay tuned.